Pigs get a treat. Should I bust it in half? I think it'll be okay. It'll bust. They'll get it. I brought in some treats this morning too. Look at how good they are just crunching into it. The pigs are enjoying a treat out here in their little enclosed area. I wanted to show you what these animals have done in just a few weeks in totally clearing this area. Look at what they've done. There were weeds growing in it. There was grass growing in it. There were actually several um, noxious weeds here, including Devil's Trumpet, otherwise known as Jimson Weed. Here's Devil's Trumpet seed pods, and here's some burrs that were growing in there. These are American guinea hogs. If you read about American guinea hogs, one thing that you'll read is that they tend to be better grazers and root less than other breeds. Now, I did not expect these pigs to just eat grass and not root. And obviously they do root. Uh, the, the impact on here is fairly minimal from what I've seen with other breeds of pigs though. I know it's half dirt in here from tramping and rooting, but I have seen pigs that are like rototillers. You put them in an area and they immediately are digging down six and eight inches and just tearing it to pieces. Every animal has a job on the homestead and pigs are destroyers. Pigs are disturbers. They come in and they actually tear up what is um, currently growing and they can be a catalyst for creating a new ecosystem. So they're great to use in areas like this that have a lot of weeds and a lot of plants that you don't want. And then what you can do is come in behind the pigs and plant. I have a good friend who's had great success with rotating his pigs through his depleted pasture. This is pasture that's been eroded for years. It's not been well taken care of. He bought it and he's using the pigs to improve the soil and improve the plant life in his pasture. He moves the pigs, he lets them prepare the soil like this, then he moves the pigs and then he plants a mix of cover crops, turnips, root crops, and these patches are amazing. They're incredibly green and incredibly um, better than the plant life that was there previously. And then he can rotate the pigs back onto that and they can feed on the root crops and they can feed on the cover crops. In the coming months, I'd like to explore using pigs in a lighter way on pasture. This is a lot of work though, so I'm not sure if we'll actually do this there's you can use pigs as disturbers like this and planting which is simpler because you can leave them there for several weeks there are many places though that aggressively rotate their hogs and they keep them on their pasture with other animals and they have a very light impact and the they eat a lot of grass they root less and then the pasture is able to fully recover for grazing land if you want some really great reading on pasture pigs, check out a website. Um, you'll, you can search for it online. It's the Sugar Mountain Farm blog. And Sugar Mountain Farm has a ton of information on pigs. I've really enjoyed reading their website. They say that their pigs eat 80% of the dry matter of their feed. That's 80% um, of their total diet is grass and hay and then the rest is concentrated feeds. Check out that site. It's really, really helpful um, and insightful if you want to do pasture pigs. All right, it's been another great day in the homestead. Thanks for joining us. All right, y'all have a great day.